next week friday april 12th i am going to mexico playa del carmen to be precise so let the maintenance prep begin because if you're a girl then you know whenever you're going on a vacation the prep before the vacation is like the olympics and especially if you wait until like the last couple of days before your actual flight you're literally running around trying to get your nails done your hair done your wax your brows your facial your whatever so i am not doing that same mistake i made last time when i went to spain where my hair appointment got cancelled 24 hours before my flight so i am spreading out everything in literally the next two weeks today i'm starting off with my brazilian wax I've been doing waxing for like a good year now and I don't think it gets any like easier like it, it gets easier but mentally every time I step into the wax room I'm just like here we go so today I have a lot of errands to do I do have to go get the braids for the bohemian braids so I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store get the extension I have to wash the extension with apple cider vinegar and then conditioner because I'm the type of person who is allergic to the silicone that they put on the extension to make it shiny so I have to strip that or if I don't do that I'm literally gonna be itching <laughs> like itching my back from the braids 24 hours after they get the braids done like I'm not gonna spend that much money to want to take my hair out the next day it doesn't make any sense also have to go to the shoppers the have to go to shoppers because i need to get my spf from elf it's been like literally nowhere i can't find it so hopefully i can find it there i also have to go to the post office because i need to return let me tell you fashion nova's return policy if you're canadian is absolutely shit because you don't get a return and label you have to pay to get it returned so i have to go to canada post and get a tracking like return label so i can track the package because they only give return labels to people who live in the states i've never heard of a company doing this before this is absolutely bullshit but i bought from fashion nova my birthday outfit so my birthday is july 30th july 30th my birthday is july 6th and i'm turning 30 so i wanted to have an outfit that's like you know it's given 30. so i saw this outfit online super nice a little bit out of my comfort zone but i was still like you know what let me get it, try it on, and hopefully it's good so that I don't have to worry about getting a birthday outfit down the line. Because this was back in March. I'm going to put a video of me putting it on because I'm not putting this on right now. Because I don't want to rip it or have any of these jewels fall off and they tell me they're not able to refund me. And this is not cheap. This is like 80 bucks. I want my money back. But it's nice if I was performing for Renaissance, Beyonce but it's just it looks so much nicer on camera but it's really just not fitting at all like it's not given birthday outfit at all for me i don't like it i also did make a sheen order that literally came in yesterday and when i tell you this has been the best sheen order i've ever had in my entire life i'm actually really impressed also disclaimer when you see me wearing these outfits next week act like you've never seen them before i want you to be like oh my god that's so pretty like you know act like you've never seen this on me before this is not picking up properly actually on camera but this is a halter neck open back there we go the orange is picking up now dress and the like everything about this dress is so beautiful it's very flowy at the bottom it fits like literally midway through my thighs which is perfect because i don't want this to be having my ass out and everything and it's so soft i'm actually thoroughly shocked and I think what's going to look really good with this is gold accessories. I got some from Sheen. I'll show you guys. I want to get like a gold clutch. And then I have actually orange heels that will match this. Because usually what I would do is wear like a white bag. And I'm like, I'm not trying to look like an orange creamsicle. <laughs> you know? Like orange and white. So I think the gold will be a very good contrast to that. I got this black cute little bag. I think this is just... For $10, you can't go wrong. Then I finally was able, I don't know what this is called. It's probably a shapewear, but I don't think it's a shapewear. I think it's more like a bodysuit. But I've been wanting to find one of these for so long. I've got one from Winners like almost eight years ago. And I got it in black and I wear that religiously. I love it, love it, love it. But it's starting to like, the material starting to like, get those like gray little fuzz balls on them. So I saw that Sheen finally had restocked these because they've been out of stock for months so when i started restocking them, i'm like okay let me just get one and see what it looks like and i actually think this is way better than any other one i've had 
and this is like $18 Canadian. I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. I'm definitely going to get the black one in this because this is just an essential staple piece that I think everyone needs. I got these black, it looks kind of blue, but it's not. It's black and white leggings. And then for bathing suits, <laughs> okay, so Shein has really good bathing suits in my opinion. They're cheap, they're affordable, great quality. So I got this brown bikini top piece, whatever, it's a set. The bottoms, I don't know who they think I am. I don't know who I thought I am because I would never wear this. They are one of those bottoms that is like, yeah, where everything is literally, and it doesn't even feel like it's stretchy. I feel like this is not going to be a good size for me. I probably should have gotten a medium. And this is supposed to be the back. I am not wearing this. They do have a cover up. It comes with one, which actually I think I can wear this as a dress. It's this. How does it go? Here we go. It's this really cute brown. It's definitely giving me Mexico Tulum vibes, which I will be going to in July for my birthday. But definitely cute as a dress. Like you have this little silver circular thing. So that way your midsection shows. And then the bottom part is ruch, ranch, ruch. I don't know the word. But you have like the strings on the side. So if it's like literally at my waist, a bit below my butt. Then I got this green one which I forgot comes with two different bottom options. I think all bikini sets should do that now. Have two bottom options so that you get more for what you paid, right? So it's just a typical triangular top. And then the bottom options, I have the one that's like a triangle, not a triangle, a tie. And this has more coverage. Little tip, if you guys want to have more coverage in the front than in the back, I usually just flip my bikini bottoms around so I get more coverage in the front and then the back is a little bit more out there but I'd rather have my butt bit out there than the front of my body out there and then it also comes with a bit more coverage of a bottom so this is like the one that has like a typical you know most of your butt is covered but if you do the whole trick this is the front and then this is the back and then the blue one I think this blue color is literally beautiful I think it would look good on probably like any complexion or well, any person any yeah, on any complexion. So it's, once again, basic, typical, triangle, bikini top. And then the bottom, same thing. Tie string. Nothing really special. Same concept. I'll flip it over here. So this is the front and this is the back. This is how I would wear it. But I think this is what really makes it. Not I think. This is what definitely really makes it. Is the cover-up crop top. This is transparent, see-through but this would be so cute i saw it on the girl as long as the sleeve actually fits me i'll be fine but i can roll it up if anything but i saw this girl on sheen wear and i was just like oh no this is actually really cute i've never seen anything like this i don't own anything like this so i think this would be really nice with like gold jewelries and stuff so i can kind of wear it just walking around on a resort type of vibe so yeah that's literally oh no accessories i got these gold earrings these floral earrings which I think will look really nice with the orange dress. Nothing special, nothing crazy, just like medium sized hoops. And then I got a bunch of like bangles. This, I don't know whose wrist this is fitted because this is not going on my wrist. This is literally the size of like my six, seven year old niece. Like, I have skinny wrists, and even at that, this is not even fitted. Like, it's sticking through my skin and look at that like it doesn't even go all the way around like who who was this made for i probably can get away with it like wearing it like this but then it's open here so i don't know then i got this gold like rope kind of is it gonna focus which is great because it opens so you're able to fit it on your wrist a lot more easier than the other ones then I got this one it's kind of like a Cartier dupe you know the Cartier one that has like the cross at the ends it's giving me very much that once again I don't know who wrists these bracelets are supposed to fit oh my god if you have big wrists I don't know if this is gonna fit you guys like honestly and then this is same concept it's another like bangle but it has these like circular balls at the end 
can I clasp it a little bit like no I want to break it so this would be it this would be like the stack which I think is cute anyways it's 12 15 I have to hurry up head to the mall because I got to do some stuff before my wax appointment at one so I will see you guys Sephora yeah I think so oh wait perfume perfume before we even head out it's kind of gloomy. I don't want to wear anything floral. That's when you know I'm really trying to not spend my money. Because usually I would buy perfume, especially with a Sephora spring sale. But I feel like I don't need to. I'm going to finish this up. We're going to wear Soul Scandal by Paul Gaultier. I used to be obsessed with this perfume. Hence why it's almost done. Alright, let's go to Sephora. Alrighty, what skin type do you usually go by? Combination of normal? Yeah. yeah. Since your nose is oily, but yeah, like I get oily on my teeth. Okay, let's see. I was going to suggest manas, but we don't have. Can we make one? Let me see. That's what they gave us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Is that weird? That's what the machine gave us. Do they have like travel sizes too? Oh my god, I want to get these peels. I heard these are so good. Ooh, I want to see what this smells like. Shadow. Yes. Done before, right? Yeah. Anything? Before. No. No. Everything is pretty much the same. Any chemical peel? Anything? No. no. I am sweating. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I also am not wearing socks with my shoes, so I packed my socks. Where are they? I don't like wearing soft sneakers, okay? That's just me. spoke to you guys so i'm gonna get my hair done which i love i think i'm gonna get goddess braids like on a regular because this hairstyle really just it suits me and it looks so good i've been getting so many compliments and i'm like oh my god like i should definitely do this more often and i just feel good and it's so easy to get ready in the morning for the gym i also did my nails as you guys saw basic french with the almond shape i originally was going to do square but then i was just like i want to switch it up and do something different got french on the toes I got my brows done too yesterday, but now I need to get a facial. 
and usually I would go to my girl Kayla but I'm like you know what I have so many of these like extra expenses I need to pay for I have to pay $120 for my luggage I have to pay for the transportation there and back to the resort which is another hundred and something dollars I got some stuff from Sephora which I will show you guys with this little skincare thing I'm gonna do so I'm like I've done enough facials let me do an at-home facial I have right now this steamer going which I will show you guys <clears throat> It's actually my sister's and I'm going to steam my face as I do my facial. This is going to allow my pores to open up. So we're going to do a very in-depth facial right now. Oh my God, this feels so good. I think I'm going to do this every month because I deserve it. Why not? I also been experiencing some breakouts like I have two here I have one here I have like one down here and I think it's because I'm on that time of the month and I want to do this deep cleanse to like really get everything out of my skin so I'm going in with my La Roche deep cleanser I feel like with this cleanser you don't need a lot like look how small of a portion size I have I don't even know if you use that word for cleansers and it gets so much product out of that, like crazy. I love it. La Roche is really, really good when it comes to cleansers. Really good. Next, I'm going to use my exfoliator. It's going to be the Extra Gentle Daily Scrub by Cetaphil. And I'm going to mix that with this kind of like rice exfoliator. It's called Enzem Exembi. Wow. Enzyme Cleanser by Robar. Love them. Love them. from winners I've never used them before I know rose water though and collagen are both really good things for your skin so that's why I got them it's supposed to help reduce puffiness and dark under eye circles I don't really have oh what is that oh my god you guys see that it's so disgusting but like it's literally pulling out an impurity already I love that how long are you supposed to keep these on Open under eye packets, smooth to ensure pads have full contact with skin, 15 minutes or until dry. Okay, cool. So basically the same time period that I'll have my mask on. I'll have this eye patch. Oh my god, okay. These are huge! These eye masks, I feel like they're gonna fall off. all right so i just took off my mask and my eye mask as well and i'm gonna use for the very first time this dr jenis gross daily peel i seen so many reviews first of all if you've watched my videos for a while you know my sister's been telling me to get on top of this her skin is flawless like goals and this has helped her tremendously and then i did my research and every girl was just like you have to get it you have to get it you have to get it went to sephora and the girl was like get this one not the blue one because the blue one is too gentle so i got the mini one because these are expensive like really expensive for like the big pack it's like a hundred and something dollars so just this of five treatments was 27 dollars at sephora but because it's a sephora spring sale i got 15 percent off but anyways it's an investment, right? Because all my other skincare stuff is relatively on the cheaper end. So it comes with two steps. This is the first step, which is an exfoliator, but it's a chemical exfoliator. And then this is the second step, which is an anti-aging neutralizer. So my exfoliator that I just used, you guys saw me use two of them. They don't have any chemicals inside. It's literally a gentle exfoliator. So I think I should be fine. 
using these together and I have to put this all over my skin Ooh. Ooh, I feel the tingliness literally like right here we have the two acnes acne the two pimples but it's not like a burning sensation it's just more so like a tingliness which I usually experience when I go to my girl for my facials so and she puts stuff like a chemical thing on my face and it just goes away after so I'm not tripping about it if I really like the results of these I will buy the whole thing I want to start off by doing two a week because as I said it's chemicals and I want to slowly like get my skin acclimated to it rather than doing this every single day I don't know what that can do to my skin so and then you have to let this sit in your skin for like two minutes they say so I'm going to wait the whole two minutes because I want to do this properly. And then after the two minutes, we're supposed to go in with the anti-aging neutralizer, which is an alpha, beta. No, they're both alpha, beta. All right, we're going to go in with the second step. Yeah, this feels so much more soothing and calming on my skin. I see why they say it's like a neutralizer. It definitely feels like I got a very like light chemical peel because I've gotten chemical peels before and it feels very much like this my skin after the chemical peel so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with my serums this is a discoloration serum from good molecule nothing else is new love these products I'm gonna use this eye cream that I got from Good Molecule because I'm about to be 30 and I feel like you need to be taking care of your skin, especially like your bags, your wrinkles, your under eye, all of that. Like, I have to really put emphasis and pay attention to that as a preventative measure, you know? So, and it's Good Molecule, like, you guys know how much I love their products, and this I think is like eight bucks. And yeah, that's literally my at-home spa facial treatment. My skin feels really good. It feels really clean. It feels really moisturized now. I just have to put some lip balm on because chapped as hell right now. But I'll keep you guys posted on how I feel about the Dr. Jenna's Gross, Gross chemical peel. I'm going to use it for a good month. So as I said, twice a week, every week. And we'll see what the results are. I took pictures before so I can see before and after. And I've changed nothing else with my skincare. So this will really be like that determinant factor of whether or not it made a difference in my skin. So yeah, all we gotta do left is pack, which will be done tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we pack for Mexico. I'm excited. Two more days and then we're on a beach with toes in sand, sun on skin, tequila in hand. I can't wait. It's Mexico day, traveling day. It's 12, 16 p.m. right now. My flight is at 2.55 p.m., which I'm just like, ugh, I hate the fact that my flight is a late afternoon flight. Let me put you guys onto a little bit of information. Tim, t I would say Timbit, but it's Timbit. Just FYI. So, I'm going to Mexico with my girls, as I told you guys, and I'm flying with Flair. This is my first time, second time flying with Flair, but my first time flying with Flair for an all-inclusive when I went to Miami in oh my god I'm out of breath <sighs> breathe I went to Miami in November I flew with flair and I knew they had all these extra charges like whenever you see an airline charging super cheap like their flights are generally cheaper than bigger airlines there's a catch behind it so like for America spirit you know you have to pay for every little thing in Canada it's flair so I knew I would have to pay for my luggage even if it's a carry-on with flair so I'm like, okay cool whatever we book our flights first of all the flights leave in the afternoon so we arrive in mexico at like 5 6 p.m which kind of sucks because by the time we get into the transfer get to the resort check-in it's gonna be like 8 p.m so it's just kind of like the whole day is gone and we could have been in mexico this whole time so that sucks second thing they don't give you 
the transfer included in the price which to me is mind-boggling because when you do all-inclusive it includes everything from your accommodation to the alcohol to the food to the transportation to the resort and to the airport back and forth also includes your luggage so like you have to pay nothing other than just tip the people at the resort and if you want to spend money when you're there on excursions souvenirs whatever cool do that so when we booked our, our um, package and we saw that we had to get our own transfer I was like are you serious so that's an additional $100 on top of what we already had to pay had to pay for my luggage a carry-on is $60 to be checked excuse me a, a carry-on if you go with WestJet Air Canada a luggage is $60 how is a carry-on $60 so I know my carry-on is able to fit everything I need to fit for my five day trip everything is under 20 pounds i weighed it tw not even twice i weighed that like seven times and i have my tote bag which is everything's already in my living room because if you're traveling always pack extra clothes underwears whatever you need in your personal bag or your carry-on that comes with you on the plane because if your luggage does not reach your destination with you you don't want to be stuck with the clothes you have on your back trust me been there done that i learned my lesson but it's just crazy to me like a carry-on should be like 20 30 dollars not 60 dollars and the luggage is 90 bucks so for our baggage we had to pay between 120 to 180 depending on what you decided to get so it became almost $300 more than what we pay for initially on Expedia.com. Don't fly with Flair. If you can fly with anyone else, don't. The price may look cheap right now, but all the little things you have to add after your flight is booked, it's gonna end up being the same price as the other airlines that look expensive in comparison to Flair when you're booking. So just keep that in mind. But I'm excited. I am about to head out. My sister's boyfriend is going to drop me to the airport, which I'm so thankful for because I don't have to pay for an Uber. But that is amazing. I will see you guys in Mexico. I'm going to try my hardest to vlog as much as possible. But I'm going to also try to enjoy and live in a moment as much. So the next vlog... I don't know why I just did that. I'm just so happy. The next vlog that you guys see after this will be my Mexico vlog. So make sure you guys are subscribed, okay? Make sure you have the notification bell turned on so that you're not going to miss out. Because whenever I travel, if you've watched any of my travel vlogs, it's a good time. Whenever I'm around my girls, it's a good time. So you know the vlog is going to be fire, right? Perfume though, before we head out, what are we going to wear? I think I'm going to put, ooh, yeah, we're going to put the good girl intense apparently you're supposed to spray yourself 15 times so one two <coughs> whoa, whoa. one two three four don't dab ever just spray in those same areas you want to spray behind your knees behind your ankles and then that was what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we'll just spray I smell good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this vlog, maintenance vlog, preparation for vacation. And I'll see you guys in Mexico.